Okay, we're back. This is the spotlight on VMware data protection, VMware backup and recovery. I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org, and we're here at VMworld 2012 uh, with two very strong domain experts uh, from EMC's BRS division, the group that does all the backup, the Avamar, the data domain, the, the networker piece, the software piece, and uh, it's really come together as one of the big forces in the industry. As, as we've reported here in theCUBE a number of times, uh, EM EMC actually has two thirds of the purpose-built backup appliance market. It's a, it's a dominating you know, market share, something you don't see often in the IT business, that kind of, kind of share for such a large market. And I'm here with Guy Churchwood, who's the new Senior Vice President of Engineering at, at BRS. Guy, welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, good friend Stephen Manley, uh, a multi-time CUBE guest, Stephen. Good welcome to see back. you again, Dave. Last time we saw you was, I believe, at uh, EMC World, and he put yeah. forth that great vision. We're going to talk about that some more, but I'm actually going to start with the new guy. And, uh, and Guy, ask you, um, you're new to EMC, you've, you've just joined the company recently, how have you been spending your time? You've been uh, cruising around meeting people, and what have you been doing? Uh, kind of, yeah, I've been uh, onboarding myself, let's just say, making sure that my business cards aren't leaking ink, and, uh, and traveling around to each of the locations, and just making sure we had the priorities on all the projects, so that makes sense. So you have a number of engineering facilities around the world. Have you, have you had a chance to visit any of those? Uh, I've I visited every wonderful location. Every one? Yeah, so, uh, so it, about five up weeks. up the miles. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've literally been in the head office now for about three weeks only for the time so I've been So what's here. your initial impression? What are, you, what are your thoughts? It's good, thoughts? it's good, I'm really excited. I mean, obviously I, um, you know, I took an exit from the industry for the last few years as a CEO of a, of a small startup in the Bay Area. Prior to that, obviously, I was over at, Net, uh, at NetApp. Um, and, you know, strangely, this is my third tour of duty now with uh, Mr. Manley. So, so I'm not sure if that speaks well for my intelligence or not. Punishment, or is that what's uh, his... Uh, uh, up to stupidity, I guess. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about where we are with uh, data protection in uh, the, the VMware environment and, and how we got here. I mean, I talked earlier in the, in the previous segment about you know, VMware's initial attempt with, with, with VCB, right. which was, you know, kind of a flop, not kind of a flop, it was a flop, <laughs> and then VADP really was a you know, major effort. Of course, the ecosystem, it allowed the ecosystem to solve the problem, and then we saw this week VDR replaced by VDP. Right. So that was big news, and uh, we had Chad on earlier, he was talking about the effort that went into that, Stephen. It was not right. trivial. No, this was, this was a significant effort on our side. Um, you know, just Again, for, for, for the viewers, the basics in VDP is, is, is more or less that, you know, similar to what we've talked about in the past, more and more backup is really moving into uh, being the application layer or the hypervisor layer or the storage layer. And in this case, you know, it really is about really embedding the protection inside the hypervisor, inside of vSphere, leveraging you know, some of the Avamar technology to, to be able to build that product. And, uh, and certainly on our side, yeah, this was a, a significant investment. Uh, well over 50 engineers mm -hmm. were, were, were working on this. So this is, this is not some small project. This was a, a significant investment. Why is um, the backup such a challenge in, uh, in virtualized environments? You know, it, it, for, for me it's actually two things. So the first, which I think most people hit on very quickly is, it's the, the backup isn't fast enough, and more importantly, the recovery is not fast enough. And so they're just constantly searching for ways to be able to meet their performance window for the backup and the recovery in a way that 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 can scale with the the degree that they're trying to scale out the virtual environment. So that's the problem most people talk about, and that's absolutely there. I think the second issue that that people don't focus on as much is the fact that much like the app administrator in say an Oracle uh, type of environment. The VM administrator wants more visibility and control over his protection than, than, than what they've been able to experience in the past with more legacy backup applications. And so one of the things we find in these environments is more and more they're rolling out one-off solutions. The VM team is rolling out their own solution for backup because they're either frustrated or just you know, in the dark with what the backup team is doing and they want that control. So it's really two parts. It's the performance, but it's also the fact that since data is king, the VM teams want more visibility into what's happening in protection. So Guy, I want to ask you, as again, the, the, the sort of relatively new outsider coming in, um, uh, you heard me earlier say, talk about EMC's dominance in this business. Now Steven, in, in May at EMC World, put forth this new vision for EMC. Uh, which utilized you know, snapshots and, and you know, off-siting and things like that. 
Why does there need to be a change? I mean, you guys are dominant. Why, why change it? Well, I, I think it's definitely progression. You know, in other words, you have to move yourself forward. I think one of the um, one of the key points that Stephen's been talking about is, you know, whether you would look at it as you say as the Burger King, and make sure I got the right way around, which is you have it your way. So, in other words, what's important about things like VDP is that the uh, administrator of the backups can actually work inside their virtualized environment. In other words, the VMware UI. So we've really got to be much more cognizant to the way in which people want to interact with this technology as opposed to uh, slamming them with technologies. So I think that you know what we've been working very hard at is, is almost like reversing the way in which we look at the technology. So it's not so much the underpinning infrastructure in the center, but it's more on the edge, which is the way in which somebody interacts with the technology. So Steve, can you, can you summarize that vision for our audience you know, briefly and then Talk about how you get customers from where they are today to 8.8 to point B, where they want to go. Absolutely, so, so if, you, if you think about it, again, it really comes down to those main two factors. How do I get backups moving faster so that I can recover more quickly? And that really means your protection environment, you need it to be application or hypervisor aware because that's the object that you're looking to protect. But you need to be able to leverage all the technologies underneath, you know, all the technologies embedded to be able to hit those performance windows. So for the hypervisor, it's things like change block tracking and change block recovery for VMware. For Oracle, it's things like incremental merge and block change tracking. At a storage level, it's things like clones and snapshots and replication and, 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 and being able to leverage deduplication and tiers of storage. But no matter what level you're doing it at, you need to be able to leverage the intelligence inside of the application, the hypervisor, or the or the storage array to be able to meet the performance window and be able to you know, recover quickly enough. The second part in the vision, which, which Guy talked about, is it's not just about the backup team driving anymore and somebody always having to pick up the phone to get their recoveries done. So I think we use the analogy of sort of an enterprise time machine. When it comes down to it, if it's my file, if it's my application, if it's my virtual machine, I should be able to recover that on my own as quickly as I need to to be able to keep the business up and running. I shouldn't have to be you know, picking up the phone, trying to, to, to communicate with other teams and slowing the process down. So again, at, at the heart of it, to be able to scale, I need to leverage the intelligence inside of the things that own the data. And to be able to meet business needs, I need to be able to expose those technologies to the users, whether it's an end user, an app owner, a hypervisor owner, or a storage owner, that's going to make the business go forward. So Guy, um, in thinking about the portfolio that EMC has, it's, it's pretty vast. Um, it's involved uh, acquisitions of Avamar, acquisitions of, of data domain, and even you know, acquisition of Legato, actually, for networkers. So now you've got this, you know, very rich set of assets, how do you make them work together? Is that a primary objective of your engineering organization and how do you do that? Yeah, uh, so yeah, it's definitely a primary objective of what we have to execute against. I mean, I, I think it's important to note that, you know, slamming technologies together for the sake of it isn't worthwhile. Uh, you have to be cognizant of what the customers want. So what we have been doing internally is looking at common services and then exposing the common services across multiple platforms and iterations. Um, and so I, I think that the vision that's been set out is very good. We have to be a little bit more aggressive onto it. You Can know, you give so an example of those common services? Well, well actually, uh, so deduplication, what we've been done around DDBoost, I mean, that's a centralized function that we have. We're doing some work on the UI now, which is going to be all encompassing across multiple platforms. Uh, and even the work we've done around um, VDP, you know, the, um, the engineering, the 50 plus engineers that we have, kind of shout out to the Irvine team and Boulder. I just have to kind of do that, otherwise they get upset with me. Okay. Um, but you know what they've been doing is basically driving that, and then we actually have strategies to run off the back of the technology center and allow the, the same use, in other words, almost like a, a bridge to the virtualization env uh, environment, uh, both in the Avmo world and the networker world, um, you know, to drive that thing forward. So are, these are common services. Are customers t typically installing you know, uh, two, those, both of those technologies, an Avamar and a data domain, um, together? Are you seeing that increasingly, or is it more different use cases? What are they, and what are they asking you for? So, so I think you know, one of the things we've seen is since we first integrated the data domain in Avamar, um, it's actually two EMC worlds ago, we've seen a constant uh, increase in the uptake of people leveraging Avamar with data domain together. The other thing we've seen is since Networker 762, and now especially with the new Networker 8 launch, um, more and more Networker customers are also you know, integrating De deploying the integrated solution between networker and data domain. So 
Well, it's absolutely true that we still, we still sell a lot of data domain into other backup applications or directly behind, say, an Oracle or a SQL type of backup. We are seeing increasingly aggressive adoption of Avamar plus data domain or Networker plus data domain. So it really is coming together. Yeah, so it's very important for us to make sure that each of our client bases, I mean, we have a very large established base of networker customers and data domain customers and, you know, Avamar and Source One, you know, each of the products, we have to make sure each of these ones move forward. So um, I don't see that we would end any of the technology streams, we're basically leveraging common services across them. So you're seeing this notion as well, um, change block tracking in the uh, v VMware space and block change tracking in the Oracle space, for example. I mean, it just kind of makes sense to only only back up the changes. Right. Um, how does that change the way in which you architect products and go to market? So on, on the architecture side, I, I think the probably the biggest shift is understanding that you know on the data domain system, you're not always getting redundant blocks the way you used to. So five years ago, you know the vast majority of data that piled into a data domain, you you pulled out immediately because it was already duplicate. Um, now, given that we're only getting the unique change blocks, the real value now is, is in being able to store them efficiently as possible because I still want to store all my backups as fulls. I want to back up changes because it's fast, but when it comes time to recover, and we all know recovery is the reason I do backup, when it comes time to recover, I want fulls. And that's where the data domain technology of being able to share blocks uh, is, is critical because now I store all these backups even if they come in as changes as fulls so the recoveries are fast and efficient. So from an architecture perspective, it's just forced us to take a step back and say the real value is in the block sharing and the recovery performance, uh, not as much in the I just deduplicate streams of bytes coming in. Yeah, so that's really talks to from my market question. It used to be a there used to be huge emphasis on dedupe rates, which really doesn't mean that much, right. especially in a virtualized environment. You're, you're emphasizing things like recovery rates, and that, that really is what matters to, to customers, is, is what I hear from customers, and I'm glad to hear that your strategy is aligned with that, so that's, uh, that's good. All right, well, uh, we love the vision, we love the disruption, we love the, fa the, the fact that you guys are willing to disrupt your own base, you know, and make some changes there. I mean, even, even VDP, you know, is right. going to eat into your Avamar base a little bit, so that didn't get lost on us, and so I think that's what, tech companies increasingly have to do to, to, to grow and you know, protect their franchises. So it's a good move in our opinion. Um, congratulations uh, Guy on uh, joining EMC. We'll be, we'll be watching, good luck. And Steven, appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing your insights with us. Oh, Thank you, appreciate always it. Always a pleasure. All right, Thanks, keep it right there. We'll be back uh, with the customer segment, VMworld Live 2012. Keep it right there.